People of the internet, there are things that we can agree on. One, taxes and death. Two, webcams suck. Webcams have always sucked. They just were kind of like a necessity, a way of getting your face into a thing. And then there was these cameras that made it easier to get better pictures. But webcams, webcams have always sucked. Until, until now, I was sent a good webcam, a good webcam from the good folks over at Insta360. The Insta360 link uh, was sent to me along with a nice tripod and yeah, it's uh, very cool. But you might be saying, Jason, yeah, well, what, what is good? This is um, a Sony a7C with a Tamron fancy lens and all kinds of stuff like that. It costs money, it costs more money than I'd like to talk about. The Insta360 costs somewhere in the neighborhood of like $300 right now on sale. Link, description, you know how to do it. Yeah, let's see. How's that? Is that good? Better than most. It's better than most. In fact, it's so good that I would tell people who asked me, Jason, hey, I'm starting YouTube or I'm starting to live stream or I'm starting to do something. I would tell them, well, go ahead and uh, get yourself an Insta360. It's got some some tracking software. Check this out. Check that, that, look at this. Look at this. It's tracking my every move. Uh, oh, oh. So this is something that I can do. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I can do that. Okay, which is pretty cool, which is pretty cool. But um, it can also do other things besides really good pictures. Okay, so we're gonna go over to this like screen recording view where you're gonna see me. I'm gonna, I'm looking at my screen. Okay, the camera's right here. This thing can do so many different things. For one thing, okay, so you got 1920 by 1080, fine. You got 4K, but not only that, you can go down to the 720. Go look at this. Vertical. Just like that. Just like that. I go vertical just like that. I'm back. So if I want to, well, oh, I need to readjust. I, I, I got to go to the gimbal here. But you can also zoom. Back this way. Center it up. Center it up. Again. Insta360 is doing its thing, but that's not all it can do. You can also control your image. You can auto expose like so, uh, but you can also do the ISO and the shutter speed so that you can match it up. If you're using another camera, you can match it up. Or if you just want to have like some, some better looking uh, stuff, you know, like I've got, I know what these lights are, so I can, I can adjust my ISO so as to, to do the thing. But the auto white balance, now this is the only thing I wasn't very impressed with. Like right now it says it's 48, 50K. I know that that is a 50, 600K uh, light. So, but then when I turn it off and I take my color temperature up, so it's, a, it's a little orange. <laughs> it's a little orange. So I go with the auto white balance, uh, the brightness, contrast, sharpness, just a little touch here and there. It also has zoom capabilities. So if you go like this, it'll zoom in. And then you can go down and up to zoom. I don't have it turned on now. I'm still working on this. I've seen it demonstrated. You saw the, the tracking work before. So it's pretty cool. But you can also tell it where you want the zoom to happen. Do you want it to happen on your head? Do you want it to happen on half of your body? Do you want to hap have it happen on your whole body? Uh, so you can imagine if you're doing like a, a presentation or something like this, you have the AI zoom, you have the tracking, you can move around. For teachers, for other people, this would be absolutely fantastic. It's got anti-flicker, got it here at 60 hertz because, you know, we're in America. And uh, then you can also do auto and manual focus, but I've noticed that the autofocus seems to be auto-focusing really pretty well. I mean, yeah. Uh, you can do HDR, you can flip the image. So that's all cool. But that's, again, not all that it can do. Uh, it has a whiteboard feature. So you can see here that it uh, it sort of backs out and, and gives you the opportunity to put a whiteboard in the screen and you put these little tags on it and it'll look at the whiteboard and uh, and then pull it in. So I don't have a whiteboard. I'm just giving you this little demonstration here. Then you go back to your tracking mode. Oh yeah, now I, oh, now I understand. Whoa. 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 I 
I think I think. I'm over, I'm over here. <laughs> it also has an overhead mode. So this is like, if you have it up here and you want to show your, your, your tabletop now, it's not going to really do, like right now it's just showing the bottom of the camera because it's not set up in that mode. But uh, now it's back here. But it also has a desktop view mode so I can do this and show you, look, here's my new Kindle Scribe. You've also got it, you can take a screenshot. And of course, here in the software you can record as well. But I'm using a separate piece of software to record now. So here I am back at the, uh, the other normal regular camera. I think that maybe you see the potential of the Insta360 link. I never thought that I would ever say, hey, check out this really good um, webcam. But yet, here we are, a pretty darn good webcam. So uh, links again down in the description below. Thanks to the folks at Insta360 for sending it to me because I was very skeptical, but now, I'm a believer.